What's up everyone? We are here in the Jurassic Room and today I have the brand new Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus. So let's go ahead and get into a full unboxing and review of this amazing figure. So here we are with the Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus. So let's go ahead and start by taking a closer look at the actual packaging on this. So as y'all can see on the front here, you get a beautiful um, scene of like in the original movie when Grant, Ellie, and Hammond first see the Brachiosaurus and it takes a bite out of the tree, um, which is super, super cool. Um, that's such an iconic scene um, for Jurassic Park. And then of course you've got the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary logo here. We've got the Hammond collection logo down at the bottom and it's kind of, even though it's a big box, they kind of kept the similar theme, uh, like this of the Hammond collection, which is really cool. And then here it's just showing you some of the sizes, everything, um, highly posable with movie authentic detailing for a dynamic scene creation. And then it's kind of just showing you how the Brachiosaurus works. Now, on the top of the package, packaging here, more standard Hammond collection, some more views of the Brachiosaurus, and then kind of a um, size comparison to the Hammond collection T-Rex, so you can just get a feel for how massive this figure is. Now, on the back, again, we've got kind of another recreation of that pretty scene, and kind of showing how you can bend the neck on this Hammond collection Brachiosaurus. And then, of course, we've got John Hammond down here. And then just showing some more poses. Um, and then on the bottom, just shows the assembly instructions, one-time assembly. And then on this side, this is actually kind of cool. It shows a close-up of the Brachiosaurus eating. And then here it says, check out what's inside with Mr. DNA. That's pretty cool, too. That'll be interesting to see. And then... Um, last but not least, the top of the box has the little description on it and showing the actual picture of that scene from the movie. It says, the sight of the first dinosaur on the tour of Jurassic Park causes Dr. Alan Grant not only to stand and remove his hat and glasses in shock, but he also physically turns Dr. Ellie Sattler's head so she can see what he can't believe a massive brachiosaurus welcome to jurassic park super super cool really um appreciating the packaging on this awesome thing but let's go ahead and do what everyone wants to see and let's get this bad girl opened um i don't know the best way to do this so i'm gonna try to use the knife so i don't damage the box too much because i like to save the boxes on these let's see yeah this might be the best way let's get the cleanest open there all right there we go that was a pretty clean opening so let me back up or lift the camera up a little bit there we go so y'all can see what i'm getting out of here yes this thing is quite immersive trying to get it out all righty so first pieces we have Oh my gosh, this thing is really going to have to be assembled. Okay, so here are the first little pieces. So let's go ahead and get these little twist tie things off. Here. There's one. There we go. There's two. The third one. I'm going to untangle this one. That should be easy. Now it should all just fall right out. Um, whoops, something fell on the um, floor. So first thing, I guess this is what the little uh, Mr. DNA thing was talking about. But here we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. It says, be ready to experience moment li moments like this at Jurassic Park. How to make a Brachiosaurus. Look at that. Private tour of the Jurassic Park Genetics Lab hosted by... Parks creator John Hammond with Mr. DNA says, one, a mosquito feeds on the blood of a living dinosaur 100 million years ago. Two, find fossilized amber with a mosquito trapped inside and then extract the DNA from the ancient mosquito. Three, use frog DNA to fill in the gaps in the genetic code. Four, bingo, dino DNA, life finds a way. That is a, um, a cool and cute little um, addition to this. So let's go ahead and get some of these pieces open. So first we can see this is one of the legs. 
So we got a leg here. And then obviously this is the head, which is super cool. And it's got that really soft feel, kind of like the um, new Red Rex they did. That is really, really cool. I like that. All right, put that there. Now let's get the rest out of the box. We got another leg. Boom. And we got the tail. Gosh, this thing really is massive, guys. I thought the Legacy Collection version was big, but this, I don't know if this one's actually bigger, but it kind of, it kind of seems bigger from opening it right here at the get-go. Here is the torso. Let's see what else is down in there. Two more pieces. Uh, last two legs here. Boom. And boom. Alrighty, so let's figure out how to put this thing together. Um, it should be really, really easy, but I just want to make sure I do it right so that, um, you know, I don't mess anything up. So obviously, the simple part, we can start with the head. Let's see, how does it go in there? There we go. Head is on. All right, next up, we have the legs which, you know, I do not want to get this wrong. So I'm going to look at the box just so that I don't do anything stupid. But the shorter, stubbier ones are the back legs. So let's go ahead and snap those on. Boom. Leg in. Let's see. I guess this is one of the... Whoops. What was this, foot backwards? I think they sent me a backwards foot on one of these. Yeah, let me see. I should be able to just turn it around because the knee goes. Yeah, oh, there we go. No, it was just twisted around. It's all good. Here we go. Boom. All righty. Now the front legs. Boom. It's nice and very easy assembly here. Yeah, some of these legs are just turned around. You got to kind of do that, make it easier. All righty. And then let's get the tail on here. And then, bam, let me get the camera so y'all can see. But right, here is our Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus. So I put a little bit better lighting on the Brachiosaurus, but here it is in its entirety. And goodness, I have to say, this thing is beautiful. But let me show y'all a couple things about it. So what's really cool is this neck that's got this real feel to where you can kind of bend it and position the Brachiosaurus's head in different ways. And then you kind of get the wrinkle in the skin, which makes it more realistic. So you can make it go down and eat. Um, you can make it do all kinds of different poses, which is cool. You can even twist the head, which is really interesting. It's kind of a, a new thing I've never seen from, um, from Mattel, but the skin, like I said earlier, feels a lot like, um, the Red Rex real feel skin, but now let me take, we'll take a little closer look up at the Brachiosaurus, but as y'all can see the head sculpt, very pretty. Of course, it's got its moving jaw. Sorry, my camera won't focus. There we go. So very pretty. It's got its moving jaw and everything. It's got kind of moves on its head. Um, and then, of course, you can put, you can click this, the head up and down here. And then it's got, you know, some basic pretty good articulation um, at the upper top of the leg joints, knee joints, foot joints, which is cool. And then even down to the tail, um, you've got joint here, joint here to give it all kinds of really cool posability. Um, so this is just a really, really cool figure. Now let's go ahead and do a couple little size comparisons with some other Hammond Collection figures. So here it is beside the Hammond Collection T-Rex and the Hammond Collection Ian Malcolm. This thing towers over them so much that I can barely even fit Malcolm into the camera with this Brachiosaurus. Um, it is just absolutely massive 
and super, super impressive. I mean, it even makes the Hammond Collection T-Rex look tiny. So um, definitely an absolutely amazing figure, a wonderful addition to the Hammond Collection, and I highly recommend everyone adds this one to their Jurassic Collections. But that is all I've got for y'all today on this unboxing and review of the brand new Jurassic World Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus. If y'all enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe so I can continue to share my giant collection with every single one of you. I am constantly making new videos from mail call unboxings to toy hunts um, to reviews and unboxing of figures and I always keep everything Jurassic. So if you're a giant Jurassic Park or Jurassic World fan, this is the place to be. But thank you everyone again for tuning in to today's video and I will look forward to seeing all of you in the next one.